Alright, what's up guys, and today I'm going to give an updated tutorial on how to use Nestbox on your Xbox because my last tutorial is now up outdated and a lot of the apps don't work anymore. So for some reason, uh, Incognito does not work on my phone, like you cannot see it. But in the description, there is a Google Drive link that you need to click. And when you enter it, um, if you're on your browser, if you make sure to try to open it from your browser and not from Google Drive, that way you could download all of the files. It's essentially just a folder with a bunch of different games that you could try out so if you're on your browser uh, click the three dots on the top right and um, set it to desktop site that way when you click on it there's gonna be a download all button on the top right you click that and it's going to download everything all of those files into a zip and you just wanna let that download you need two five two you need two apps before you could do anything with the Xbox you need to download like WinRAR or WinZip or some type of zip opener because it will be a zip file. That's what you need. And you also need OneDrive because you need to move the folder to OneDrive. So I'm waiting for it to download on my phone. Okay, so once it's done downloading, you want to open RAR and you're going to find the name of the folder. The name of the folder should be nestbox.zip. So you want to hold it down. From first, you're gonna find your downloads. Make sure you go to downloads and find it here, and click extract to Nestbox. It's going to extract all of the games into its own folder. So now you're gonna find here. You're gonna find on Nestbox, and here are all the games. So now you want to open OneDrive, and from here, go to files. Log into your Microsoft account that you are using with the Xbox, because if you don't, then you're just not gonna find your games. So once you're logged in on your account on OneDrive, you're going to come to this screen and you're just going to click the plus on the top right and click upload. And you want to click the, this here, go to downloads and you want to find the Nestbox folder. And basically, you want to click this and click select all and open. And all of the games are going to upload. It's going to do it one, one at a time, so just let it all upload. See, there's a bunch here. I put, I put a bunch of games into the folder. That way, everyone has a couple games to test. If you want more games, um, the games that are supported with Nestbox are Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Original Game Boy, and Sega Saturn. I'm sorry, Sega Genesis. So if you want to try a new game or download a new game, uh, you could is any of those consoles are supported, so you could download the games from there. And it's almost done. Should be about one more game. Yeah. So here are all the games here. They're all uploaded. You see them all right here. Says so just now. So once you're done here, you can actually go to your Xbox. You can see that I'm on the home. And literally, all you have to do just open your browser, Microsoft Edge. And you're going to go to this website, nestbox.com. If you want the most amount of performance possible, you go to right here, nestbox.com slash embed. This, what this does is it loads up the same website, but without the ads. So once you're here, it's going to say click on the screen and press A button to start. You want to click on the screen. Now you see for me, it immediately went to full screen. If it's your first time, what it'll do is it'll pop up another tab and say do you want to give access you want to click yes because that's how you're gonna get access to your OneDrive and once you click yes you can come back to this page and go to full screen you press A open ROM from OneDrive and all of the games that are, that were in the description should be here so I'm going to use Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and you can see right here Sega! no problem no performance issues nothing going on See, it's working, no problem. Just like that. Now, to pause the game like this, if you want to get to this menu again, you have to press both the left bumper and the right bumper because the back and menu buttons do not work. So, when you get to this menu, you can actually make save states or you can restart the game if like a glitch happens in any game you're playing, or you can simply back out, go back to the main menu, and start up another game. And you could also change your controls if you need to. Saves are in this, so when you're playing the game normally, 
there are saves and it'll, it'll be in your OneDrive. So you do not have to use those save states if you don't need to. It'll make the save for you. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. If there are any problems, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to assist you. So yeah.